The brackets are officially out and Birmingham will be a hot spot for basketball for the third straight week. We had high school two weeks ago, swag this past week. Now we got first and second rounds of the NCAA tournament. No surprise here. Alabama is a number one overall seed. They'll take on the winner of Texas A&M, Corpus Christi and Southeast Missouri State, which play in the first four on Tuesday. Now that game will take place on Thursday at 1 45 p.m. inside the BJCC. The winner of that game will face the winner of Maryland and West Virginia. Accomplished a lot this year. You know, I couldn't be more proud of them for what they've been able to do. And I just got rewarded with it. It's going to be great to play in Birmingham. We need to put it out there that we need that place packed full of Alabama fans. That's part of the rewards of having a great Regular season, we get to play, should be essentially a home game in Birmingham for the first two rounds. So, And it gets better. Auburn will also be in Birmingham. Bruce Pearl's team earning a number nine seed. They, they are right there. They'll take on Iowa from out of the Big Ten. Now, here's what's something interesting. If Auburn goes on to win that, they get a chance to face the number one seed from the Midwest, and that's Houston as they take on Northern Kentucky in the 116 match. I don't want to jinx anything, but that's probably what you're looking at. Their game will be taking place later on that evening on Thursday. Day. Oh, I'm, I'm glad we have this uh, this opportunity, um, and then finally to be able to be in Birmingham. Um, this uh, uh, for our fans and for our students, um, and I think it's I think it's just awesome. And um, so hopefully we'll get we'll get great support, and uh, see if we can have a shining moment or two.